As daunting as the music coming out of this organ sounds, it pales in comparison to the thought of moving such an immense and intricate instrument. But that's exactly the task that the Colorado State University School of Music had to accomplish in order to complete the new University Center of the Arts, a task the late Bob Cavara understood the gravity of. It's not unlike moving the Mona Lisa from one uh, art gallery to another. Over the course of three months in the summer of 2008, Rick Parsons and his experienced team from Parsons Pipe Organ Builders painstakingly performed the deconstruction, cleaning, and restoration of every piece in the Canadian-built Casavant organ. There's roughly 2,500 pipes in the organ, and each one had to be very carefully handled, and the dirt carefully blown out of it and wiped out of the inside of the pipes, and uh, they're just very delicate. After every piece came down and was transported, reconstruction of the legendary organ in its new home began. Consider this an historic organ, and it really is because, maybe not so much because of how old it is, 1968, but because it was so unique and it was such a landmark instrument at the time, one of the first of its kind. The new professor of organ and liturgical studies at CSU understood the importance this new space played in respect to the organ. There was a lot of trepidation moving this instrument from, from the old hall to this new one. Organs are built specifically for, for rooms. You design the instrument considering the acoustics of, of the room it's going, to be, it's going to be played in. For decades now, this piece of artwork, engineering, and instrumentation has had a profound impact on both those who listen and those who play. In the words of the late Dr. Kavara, this organ plays music as beautifully as any organ 